New York has ambitious clean energy goals, including 3 gigawatt of grid-scale battery energy storage by 2030. However, six years after setting this target, less than 300 megawatts are operational. That's less than 10% of the state's target for grid-scale batteries. High EPC costs, limited revenue opportunities, and complex interconnection processes are among the factors hindering deployment. However, momentum is potentially shifting. Over 2 gigawatts of storage capacity are near the final stages of their interconnection process, leaving the door open for New York to hit the target by 2030. So, what's holding back battery development in New York, and what's enabling the shift in momentum? Revenue opportunities for batteries in NISO have historically been limited relative to their cost of new entry. As part of its most recent State of the Market report, the Independent Market Monitor of NISO conducted a study that compared battery revenue opportunities in relation to their estimated capital expenditure. The batteries in the study were presumed to be operating in a way that maximizes revenue capture. The study demonstrated that, even with revenue capture maximized and with the Inflation Reduction Act's investment tax credit included, battery revenues in New York have fallen short of their cost of new entry in some cases by as much as 50%. To combat an inconsistent revenue environment and to accelerate storage deployment, New York has introduced the Index Storage Credit, a 15-year contract that provides revenue certainty while maintaining market upside. The ISC addresses the missing money problem. It guarantees a revenue floor through a strike minus reference price mechanism, making project financing significantly easier. What makes ISC unique compared to other hedging structures out there is that it rewards availability over production while maintaining developers' exposure to price signals. Changes aren't just happening on a policy level. Market fundamentals are shifting as well. Over 1 gigawatt of thermal generation capacity has retired in the last four years, while total system demand could grow by 50% over the next 20 years. Part of the solution to fill that reliability gap is the Champlain Hudson Power Express, a 1250 megawatt transmission line from Quebec to New York City that is projected to come online in 2026. However, CHPE currently has no winter capacity commitment, as Quebec is a winter peaking system. This creates a potential opportunity for batteries to be the other piece of the reliability puzzle, as New York also transitions to a winter peaking system in the early 2030s. Head to the Moto Energy Terminal to learn more about the changing economics of batteries in New York. Thanks for watching.